certainly the hot hand for Maryland in the first couple minutes of this one. Owusu, the hot hand on the season, the reverse, and it's in. Cheeky little move there from Ashley Owusu. Here is Katie Benson, first time we've said her name so far. Pass down low, in through traffic. Owusu is there to put it off the glass. Five remain in the first quarter, and 10 on the shot clock. Layden. Five to shoot through the lane, up off the window, and it rolls. I do want to see Benson get a little bit more involved in the offense. I feel like when she touches it, Maryland starts to produce and do more. A lot of turnover in the team as well. Diamond Miller with 10 to shoot, puts up a three. Off the front, it bounces home. I guess the bank's open on Sunday. Diamond Miller kicks up top to Owusu. 12 to shoot. Miller cashes in another three. Two for two. Feed the hot hand. Only the three field goals so far for Purdue. Kicks in Collins. A little floater there. An interesting release on the shot, but effective nonetheless. Masona is down low to Diamond Miller, who spins off the window and in again. She Her, loves playing on that low block. Actually, she reminds me a lot of Dierica Hamby, who's on the Las Vegas Aces, who played at Wake Forest, just because same thing, her best basketball is ahead of her. Off the window in the roll, good, Masonis. She always says, be ready when your number is called, because you never know when you'll get that opportunity. Dumbia kicks it out to the far side. A three is good. Cassidy Harden, the junior, knocks it down. Ashley Awusu in the ball screen every single time, and good things will happen. Purdue just hasn't quite figured that out yet. Dumbia gets the end one. We'll stay with Maryland again, third time. Keep the eye on Ashley Awusu on the inbound. All the way up top, and it's stolen here, so not the same result, but Purdue looking to get off to a good start. Here's Layden, three to shoot, it's lost, and here comes Maryland the other way. It's Diamond Miller behind the back, through the lane, the runner is up, and it rolls. Started to really, really hard hedge on Ashley Owusu in a ball screen. It, it was a little bit more difficult, but she Trailer can handle puts it. up a good three. Trailer must have heard us talking over here, <laughs> okay, because now she's getting involved on all levels of scoring. And Owusu draws the and one. I can't wait to see Angel Reese back on the court. She's certainly not camera shy there either. <laughs> that was Kyle at the line. Miller down open on the other end with an easy finish. Good find there by Benson. Falls into the hands of Purdue. Trailer coming down the other end. Kicks out. Late in a three is good. That's great. That may not sound like a lot to some people, but players, they go up and down a lot. So when you can have consistency across the board, it's huge. And that's what Grant does for Purdue. Actually in this COVID era, but seven to shoot for Purdue. And it's stolen by Wusu. Kicked out. Ben's in another three, another make. The ice has been broken for Katie Benzin. I'm going to say it, how many years until we're comparing the next crop of Maryland players to Ashley Wusu. Benzin again, and Benzin from almost the same spot. Let's go baseline, puts it up, had it knocked out cleanly. It falls to Faith Masonis, two to shoot. Styles at the buzzer, got it! They seem to always have length on McLaughlin, and she's a smaller guard, so when you have that length, it's hard for her to see. Here is McLaughlin, and she ties the record! It's kept coming after that, and so McLaughlin with her pedigree and track record, you know, can't quite counter out. The floater good, Kozlova! Faith Masonis is very capable of making great decisions in transition. McLaughlin, another three, and she has it! Now the all-time leading three-point shooter in the history of Purdue women's basketball. And th those, are, those are pretty big programs. Those are pretty top-notch schools. So, you know, you can only imagine what it was like at home. But here's Styles coming down. She stole it. Up off the window. Couldn't get it. Masonis puts it back in it. It's a positive from fans not being able to be in the gym is we can hear every single thing the players are saying. Their communication, just how much they talk. Bends it on the back porch to put it in. This looks like a great team. Not just a good team, but a great team. If they can keep this defensive effort up, they will win the Big Ten.